So I'm going to take you through the steps for drawing the Lewis structure for a simple molecule. Remember, Lewis structure is just a way of showing how the atoms are connected and where their valence electrons are. There are six steps to follow, and I'm going to show them on the next slide. And when we're done showing them, I want you to pause the video and make sure you write them down. You want to have those six steps written while I'm showing you some examples. So here are the steps, and we'll just quickly go through them. First thing you're going to do is count the total number of valence electrons in all of the atoms in the molecule. You'll be able to tell what atoms are in there by looking at the formula. The second thing you're going to do is draw the skeleton of the molecule. Now that sort of just shows how they're generally arranged. And remember, there are some rules. The central atom is usually written first. And there are some things about the number of bonds that atoms normally want to form that we'll, con we'll consider when we do that. Once you've created the skeleton, we're going to have connected all of the atoms in the molecule with single bonds. You're going to then subtract all of those electrons that you just used to make those bonds from the total. And then what's left is the number of electrons you have left to put into the structure. You're going to put the electrons in as lone pairs. You're going to start putting them around the most electronegative atom in the molecule. And the goal is for all molecules to have their octet, their eight valence electrons, except hydrogen. Hydrogen only needs two. Once they're all placed, if there are still some atoms that don't have an octet, you can make double or triple bonds at that point to satisfy that. And then finally, at the end, the last step, you're going to count all of the valence electrons, all the bonds and the lone pairs, and make sure that you're, you have the same number of valence electrons in your structure as you did in step one. OK? So we're going to take, as an example, go ahead and pause the video, write those down. And then we're going to take, as an example, a couple of molecules, and we're going to follow the steps and see what the structures look like. So we're going to start by looking at a molecule of methane. Methane is CH4. It's got a carbon and four hydrogens. So we're going to draw the structure for methane, but first we're going to do a little electron bookkeeping. First, we need to count up all of the valence electrons in this molecule. Well, I've got carbon, and carbon has four valence electrons. And I have four of the hydrogens, and each hydrogen has one electron, so that's another total of four. That means I have eight valence electrons that I need to place in this structure. Okay, So I'm going to focus on 8. Now the second step is I need to draw the skeleton. And if you remember what we said in class, the central atom is usually written first in a structure. So I'm going to put carbon in the middle. And I'm going to connect that carbon to four of the hydrogens. So there are only four hydrogens to connect it to. So I'm going to connect it to those four hydrogens. And I'm going to use single bonds to connect it, because that was the rule. Connect all of your atoms together with single bonds. And so I've done that. Step three is I need to subtract all of the electrons that I just used to make this structure from my total. Well, I used two for this bond here, two for this bond here, two for this bond here, and two for this bond here. I've used eight electrons to build my structure to build my skeleton. So when I subtract 8 from 8, I have 0 electrons left to place, which means this is my final structure. I've used them all. I'll check just to be sure. Each hydrogen gets to call these two electrons its own. The carbon in the center has 2, 4, 6, 8 valence electrons. It has an octet. This is the structure of methane. See, it's not very difficult. Now let's do one that's a little bit more complex. We'll start with a molecule of SO2. SO2, sulfur dioxide. That's the name of it. Let's do the bookkeeping for electrons. Sulfur has six valence electrons. Oxygen also has six, and there are two of those. So that's another 12 from the oxygen. So that's a total of 18 valence electrons that I need to place in my structure. OK? So I've got to put 18 electrons in there. The central atom, that's sulfur. It's written first. So I'm going to write sulfur in the middle. And then I'm going to connect the two oxygens on either side to the sulfur. Now I've got my skeletal shape. I just used two four electrons to make that skeleton. So I subtract four. I have 14 electrons that I need to place now. 
So I'm going to put 14 electrons, that's 7 pairs. 14 electrons is 7 pairs. And so now I'm going to put in 7 lone pairs of electrons. I'm going to start with the most electronegative atom in this molecule. Remember that electronegativity goes, it gets bigger as you go from left to right, and it gets smaller as you go from top to bottom. Sulfur is below oxygen, so oxygen is more electronegative. I'm going to start putting lone pairs around the oxygens to try to give them eight valence electrons. This oxygen already has two, so it needs four, six, eight. Now it's stable. There's three of my seven pairs. I've got four more pairs to place, so I'm going to do the same thing to this oxygen. Two, four, six, eight. Now this oxygen has an octet, and this oxygen has an octet. The sulfur, I've got one more pair of electrons to place, and the sulfur only has four. So I'm going to put that one pair of electrons on the sulfur in the middle to give it six. Now I have a problem. My problem is, if I count up all my electrons, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I've used all 18 electrons in this structure. But sulfur doesn't have an octet yet. And that's a problem, because sulfur has to have an octet. So if you remember, once I'm done placing the electrons, it says that if there are any atoms that are not satisfied, that don't have their octet, I can make some double or triple bonds. Well, to make a double bond, I can't just draw it in there, because a double bond is made out of another pair of electrons. I have to use some of the electrons I've already used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of electrons from the oxygen, and I'm going to take them from the oxygen and make them into a second bond. Now watch what that does. If I count up this oxygen's electrons, I still have 2, 4, 6, 8. I haven't changed this oxygen's octet at all. But what I've done, because I've shared an extra pair, is I've given sulfur now its the missing two electrons that it was missing. 2, 4, 6, 8 for sulfur. 2, 4, 6, 8 for oxygen. I counted them up, but I'll count them again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's my 18 valence electrons that I said I needed at the beginning. I've got them all in there. This is the shape for sulfur. Okay? So it's pretty simple. Follow the steps and try a few of them, and you'll see that you can draw them pretty easily.